Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Last time we left off, we talked to Iris to see what she can do about those locks, and well, she'll work on them, but she said that there's many, many different ways to set the locks, so it could be a whole day before she can actually go ahead and unlock everything, so we're just going to leave her doing it, leave her to that, and well, we're just going around investigating some more, and Oh, well, here we are in, at the Heavenly Hall, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think it's Heavenly Hall. I want to call it Heavenly Shack, but no, I don't think that's right. Where we found um, Pearls and, or Pearl and Larry being losers because they feel bad for stuff. So, let's go ahead and talk to them. Maybe we can get them to be happier. Larry, is there something you want to tell me about this picture? Ha! <laughs> I got nothing to say to you, Nick! My life's here now with Pearl, two losers cooking potatoes together forevermore. What am I going to do with him? Alright then, what do you think about this picture, Pearls? I, uh, I think it's really well drawn. I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it. It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it! It's like a dream! A wonderful fantasy! No, no, no! It wasn't a dream! Uh, she really flew! I'm telling you, Iris really threw, flew that night! But, Mr. Loris... <sighs> Not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl! Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase! I beg of you! I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. But I was wide awake after the lightning struck, and I saw what I saw! It was exactly like I drew in that picture! And it uh, Excuse me. That's what happens when you eat before you record. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch as face value. At face value. Yeah, what the hell did I say? Hey! What's up with the look of doubt on your face? Well... Uh, um, Pearls? Yes, Mr. Nick? I've been mean to ask you about the Night of the Murder. Where were you, and what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I, um... I... I was just... Well, I'm just a kid, you know? I'm sure it doesn't really matter what I was doing, does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the Night of the Murder... You were supposed to be in Miss Donim's room reading a book together, but Miss Donim was murdered, and you pearls were at the inner temple. Uh, just what exactly happened that night, pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. Ah, oh, my God. Why is everybody? Why is everybody being so secretive? I, I've been a bad girl. I know I'll be punished. What are you talking about, Pearls? My spiritual power... It's disappeared. What? The powers have disappeared? Can that even happen? What do you mean your powers have disappeared, Pearls? It's... It's all over for me. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is like a planter who... A painter who can't paint. Hey, what are you looking at me for? Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spear right here at Hazakira Temple? Tried but failed, perhaps? Ah, uh, uh, she's crying. Way to go, Nick! You made her cry! That's... that was really cruel of you! <laughs> Just as I thought. I'm gonna have to break her cyclone to get the truth out of her. Oh, I feel so bad she's crying right now. Well, there's really nothing we can do here, and so we're just going to have to leave her crying here for a little while, and I'll come back to her and eventually figure out the truth, just not right now. Uh, so, okay, let's go ahead to the, the main gate. That's the only place we haven't been to yet, the main gate in the, inside the temple. I think Bikini might be in there, possibly Gumshoe. I wonder if this Bikini has gone back to the main haunt already. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while, either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. 
How about gum shoe with sister bikinis type? Well then, uh, moving on there, cause I... Oh, I don't know. Why the hell is she so freaked out already? Haven't even done anything. Well, what's the damage? Oh, she was just... she was just anxious. How's the sacred cavern? It looks like it survived. But we have a bigger problem now. I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five blocks that were, st that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. But who... who could have done that? The only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Korean tradition. We have Iris in the sacred cavern trying her best to open them for us right now. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes. You were telling me how the Master Crane disappeared 17 years ago. I want to know why Misty Face suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise... No. I mean, Mystic Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the Master, she said... Someone is trying to destroy the Korean tradition's main family line. I'm here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There's only one heir to the title of Master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new Master of Kirane, and her daughter is the main family. All other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the, the history of the clan. Branch families have always have and always will plot to erase those in the main family line. Is the power to master worth this much bloodshed? Yeah, when well, you kind of think about it, it is very dark. Like the whole storyline there, it's like, it's like, yep, um, they will go out, go out of their way to try killing off or doing whatever so they can become like the main the masters in the main family it's I don't know it's insane you believe in a technique don't you Mr. Wright you know its power is real yes I do it, hmm. hold on real quick guys alright sorry about that thought I uh, heard something there okay where was I again it's been three years since I first met Maya in that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the mask to mask case, and during the Maggie Bird's trial, too. Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. The Korean technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. I mean, the ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic power, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but... With all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in that, believe in it anymore, you see. All because of one little mistake. A mistake? What mistake? Well, it was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. All because of that incident. That incident? Is she talking about what I think she is? Which I, I'm sure you guys might know already of. I'm sure the record still exists if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called the DL6 incident. That's the name of the file. DL6 incident, huh? Yeah, I'm sure you all know about this, but you know. DL6 incident. And I know it well. I handled a relay case just three years ago. Oh, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. The murder that took place 17 years ago. It was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to challenge the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. The medium who performed the challenge was Missy Faye, Maya's mother. And over, in, in this picture, she looks like an assassin from Assassin's Creed. That was pretty awesome, in my opinion, but you know, hey. Although Mystic Misty's channeling, through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. 
Armored Flat has evidence the investigators are spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's right, he was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world has ever seen Korean tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media. The public, the judiciary, the people of Korean Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared. Vanished. While everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Mystic F Misty Face Spirit Channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. The Korean tradition is starting to recover at last, but with a new master wielding the power of the clan... Does she mean Maya? Perhaps she does. The spirit power of the Korean channeling technique is in the blood. Maya's told me the exact same thing before. And pretty much she said they've always been spirit mediums, and... I believe we've talked about this already. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Amy. But in each new generation, only one daughter becomes a new master. And the ones who don't become the ones who don't become French branch families, right? That's right. And it's always a cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. And lost her life as a result. I hate you, Red White. Bastard. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also wanted to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. She didn't want to fight over the Shula leadership. Really? Well, she saw she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, and she, when she, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. Ah, uh, yeah, we all know her aunt. That's right. Misty Faye had an elder sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat from her. Mystic's, Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Yes, the evil woman of the big hair. Morgan? Ah, there's a name I know well. It was a year ago now at Maya's home, Crane Village. What, what she did was terrible. It was all, all so she can make her own daughter the next master. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter... That you must have already realized that Iris... Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's daughter? What? what? Iris is what?! Is she kidding me?! Iris is Mick Morgan Faye's daughter?! Where the... Where the hell did that come from?! Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops! I thought you already knew! It sounded like you've met one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. I have. I know her very well. Oh? Yes. Pearls. Pearl Faye. But I always thought she was an only child. You jest! That child! She's Mystic Morgan's... I had no idea. Mystic Morgan... But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes, ever since she was found to be of a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. Yep. It was all done to set, set Pearls up as the next master. I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. What? What? The... Three? Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. What? The, the twin sister? Oh, didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. 
After the clan leadership was taken by her from her by her sister, Mr. Morgan's life crumbled. Oh, there's her evil face. Oh. It wasn't many years later that Crane's reputation hit an all-time low. When Mr. Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her in the village, taking their twin daughters with him. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. He decided to give one of his dog girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. That was Iris. That was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable. If Iris is a twin sister, could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Oh, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm. Jeweler. Thank you very much. You've helped clear up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mr. Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Her twin daughters were taken by her from her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream without a child of hers would one day lead to the clan. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. I was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So Iris has a, has a twin sister. The plot thickens. Definitely. But this information will be useless unless I can fl uh, flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get some more info. Well, that was eye-opening. In a matter of a couple minutes, we found out that, uh, first we found out that, oh, my, um, Iris is Morgan's daughter. We're like, oh, what the hell? We didn't know that. And she thought she knew. And then she's like, oh, wait, well, so, okay, that means that Morgan has three daughters. We're like, what? Who's the third one? Oh, she has a twin sister. Come on now. She, it's like nonchalant. Oh, yeah, I thought you knew all this. Boy, um, yeah. So we have a lot more information to work with, that's for damn sure. So, uh, that means that next time we're going to do some more, investiga uh, more investigating and ask more questions around the whole entire temple. We're bound to get something out of out of someone. This is just insane. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. See you guys later.